Hi everyone, this short little video will show you how to um, activate completion tracking on your course page. And what that means is students have the option to, to either to click a box like this to say that to, for them to keep track of they've actually done this. We have some options to, to set up that it can be automatically clicked the moment they've clicked on it. Um, but let's just go for the most basic one. If you scroll down to our administration block and you go down to edit settings and this is where you edit the name of your course and so on um, but scroll down to to uh, completion tracking when you open it this would be on no by default all you need to do is say yes so enable completion tracking yes so save changes if you scroll down on your right hand side, you would see that this course completion is now available. So if we click on that, here we have different options. So we can set that students need to complete this course before they can come to our course. So there's whole, a whole bunch of different options to, to actually um, enable. But for this video, I'm going to look specifically at manually selecting. You just click on the condition manual self selection and you click enable. You click save. You can go back to your course. And now it's as simple as putting your editing on. And unfortunately, if you've already, like me, set this up, you'll have to go in into to your settings scroll right down below restrict access there's a new section that will say activity completion you can click this and say students can manually mark the activity as completed if you say save and return to course you'll see that the tick box is now available for them so this would also work if you're setting up a new um, element on your page um, that option will be there so you can actually from now on everything that you do create will have that. Thank you.